Welcome back to Top 5 Repairs. How do you know you have an EGR issue and it's time to check it? When the EGR passage is full of carbon buildup, this can cause the valve to be stuck in the open position or it can be stuck in the closed position. If you pull out your EGR to maintain it or try to clean out the carbon buildup and you don't really see any carbon buildup and you wonder why your EGR is not functioning properly, that's because maybe the diaphragm inside the EGR failed. How do you know if the diaphragm is leaking or it's ruptured inside the EGR? And I'm going to show you how to check it. For some EGR, the diaphragm is exposed on the bottom and you can actually press it and you can feel it if it's working or not. For this one, you cannot see the diaphragm. So what I'm going to use is, I'm going to use a needle nose. I'm going to grab the uh, plunger. I'm going to plunge it in and out. So the diaphragm is located on the inside. So now let's create a condition when the diaphragm is damaged or it is ruptured or it is leaking. So I'm going to use a pick. I'm going to damage the diaphragm. So this time, when you grab the uh, plunger and you're going to move it up and down, there should be little to no noise because the diaphragm is ruptured. As you can see, there is no suction noise because the diaphragm is leaking and it is ruptured. If the diaphragm is working fine and you want the EGR valve to move more freely, you can use carburetor cleaner or you can use throttle body cleaner and you could clean out the uh, EGR passage. And make sure to clean the part that connects to the EGR because that part inside will be full of carbon buildup as well. How do you know it is time to check your EGR? And here are the symptoms. For example, a clogged EGR can cause poor fuel economy, it can cause low idle, it can cause rough idle, it can cause erratic idle, it can cause stalling at idle, it can cause stalling at the stoplight, it can cause increased emission, it can cause detonation and you hear knocking noise coming from the engine. The engine can start to ping under load and also you start to notice fuel smell when driving and you'll get EGR trouble codes especially if your EGR is an electronic. Before replacing the EGR, make sure the vacuum lines on the EGR is not loose. Make sure it is not cracked. And if you replace the EGR, make sure to change the uh, EGR gasket. I hope you found this lesson useful and subscribe to Top 5 Repairs.